Sitting properly may not be what you think. Hi, this is Neil again from Neil Davy Physio and I'd like to talk you through the reality behind sitting comfortably. There's a lot written about sitting properly, correct posture, and that sitting badly causes damage to your back. You only need to look on the internet and you'll be swamped with advice that's not based on science or research. This has resulted in common beliefs that you need to protect your back when you sit and how you should do it. You may have been told that you need to sit in a particular chair or use a lumbar roll because you slouch too much, change your workstation, or that you have a weak core. This largely isn't true and can cause the very problem you think you're preventing. And when your efforts fail, you may try the same things with more effort rather than changing your methods. Every day I hear that my poor posture is causing my problem. I need to sit up straight, use a lumbar roll to maintain the curve of my spine, work on my weak core, I slouch too much. And I spend most of my clinical time showing patients that their previous advice is unhelpful and causing the problem they have. So the harder they try, the worse their problem becomes. Spines are enormously strong and designed to bend forwards all the way to the floor with a bit of practice and backwards, but nowhere near as far. And when you repeatedly bend, spines get stronger and don't wear out. It's as simple as that. And this principle holds firm throughout the body. That's why going to the gym or exercising improves your health. So if you can bend all the way to the floor, and that's say 100% of your capacity, and you can do it without damaging your back, in fact it makes it stronger, then why is relaxed sitting or slumping considered dangerous for your back when you're only using a fraction of its bending capacity? Let's use our normal pain-free wrist to demonstrate. Clench your fist and bend it backwards. How do you think that would feel after an hour or at the end of a day's work? Probably not very comfortable. And if you keep going, I'm sure it would become stiff and painful. This is because muscles will fatigue over time and the tension in your joints and soft tissues will eventually result in discomfort and progress to pain. But the interesting thing is there was nothing wrong with your wrist or forearm when you started. It became uncomfortable because you didn't give it sufficient rest. So why do we persist in sitting in a way that increases the load and stresses in our backs without giving them a rest? The response you felt in your wrist is perfectly normal, it shouldn't be misinterpreted as dangerous or damaging. And I'm guessing your solution to your painful wrist would be to relax your hand and shake it out and don't keep repeating it. So why don't you take that approach with your back? Because you've probably been told that your back is somehow different from the rest of your body and you should be frightened of the discomfort because it means we're causing damage. But did you damage your wrist? No. So how can you damage your back when it's so much bigger and stronger than your wrist? You can't. It's nonsense. Trying to sit upright generally involves increased muscle work. Muscles get tired after a while, no matter how fit you are, and they need to rest and recuperate. And if they don't get rest, they complain. This increases over time. And a rest for a muscle is, is maybe relaxed sitting, soft posture, movement through full range, or going to do some exercise. But when we feel discomfort in our backs, we don't use these solutions. You may have been told your, your core is weak and that's why it hurts. It isn't weak, it's exhausted and it needs a rest. Instead of trying helpful stuff, you might sit there for long periods under stress from your work situation or, or driving without changing position and trying harder to hold your posture or fix or brace against the pain. This approach is always going to fail. So let's practice some simple adjustments in your sitting and see how it feels.